the healer here. Is it okay to go inside? Very well. David is going to come in then. Sir Vinitar, greeting. This one is a Kathe Rat Kashit, member of the Imperial Academy of Alchemists and an associated scribe at the Council of Healers. And she is named Kojendra. She is going to be this one's main healer until stable recovery, she is also an acquaintance of Commander Maru. In fact, he was the one who wrote to Kajit about Sir Vinipter's condition after the troublesome dinner. Here are Gojendra's identity papers. This one can stay in bed. She's going over there. Firstly, Kojendra needs to give a look at the Benitus Oculatus report about what exactly happened during this dinner and what they found out yet. It will only take a moment, but this is very crucial to be fully aware of Sir Vinipter's situation and to plan the healing process.
Okay, this is very serious indeed. Um, did this one received any alchemical or healing help already? Hmm, Kaji says. This one has already figured out he has been poisoned during the dinner and the Pelitus Oculatus already knows what has been poisoned and it's this the famous potage le magnifique the masterpiece of the dinner that was brought right here for examination. Here is everything we need. The potage cooking pot. With the most amount of brass left in there.
hacer mini tours con plates y tableware. is about to tell has been heavily discussed with Commander Maru, but it was decided that Sir Vinipter's status as an official emperor's double, added with the current situation Kojendra is about to explain, put this one in a place where he can legitimately know what happened to him. Of course, this goes with conditions and duties, so this one still has a choice to decide if he wants to know or not. It will not affect this one a recovery, be reassured, as Kojendra is here as a healer, no matter the choice. So, this one's life is not threatened by this decision. But this one has to understand that silence is going to be the new deal if Kajit tells everything that Commander Maro allowed to. That means, of course, that trust isn't enough and will never be and never was. This is political, after all, as we all know very well. To guarantee the silence, Sir Vinipter is going to be put on constant surveillance. No matter he'll notice it or not, this one's family too. On the other hand, coastal land near Braville in Cyrodiil will be granted. Here are the property papers, if this one wants to give a look. The name of this one's daughter will be Claire. Yes, we know about that too. Or at least the Penitus Oculantus knows. Kajendra is only a healer and a mere messenger here. But 
these duties and rights will all apply only if this one decides to know about the dinner. Oh, and Kajit almost forgot, but he's also going to have 8 million septims added to his familial patrimony. Remember, all of this is going to feel like being surrounded by dogs. Everything plays well and fun if the rules are respected. But there, there upset one of them, and they will tear Sir Venipter and his family apart right away. Choose wisely, then. <laughs> it was rather quick. Why is that? Hmm. Father duty. Kajit understands. Well, if this one is already sure about that, we'll need a signature right here. These documents will be well sent where they need to be. Alright, so the report shows that the poisoning indeed targeted the Emperor Titus Mede II and was commanded by the Dark brotherhood. Yes, they were still active in Skyrim even if weakened compared to the Third Era. Um, Kajit said where, as their sanctuary was successfully destroyed by the Penitus Oculatus the very moment Sir Vinipter was poisoned. Commander Maro, indeed, heavily investigated from the past month, since his son was killed and accused of conspiracy against the Emperor. It was found that it was part of the Dark Brotherhood's plans. However, 
it looked like the organization was in turmoil and for a reason Koshendra doesn't know the leader of the Dark Brotherhood contacted Commander Maro to give hints about her own plan to apparently get rid of one of her subordinates A deal was made. The Dark Brotherhood would abandon the Emperor assassination in exchange of the troublesome person being executed by the Penitus Oculatus. This person being, in addition, the very murderer of Commander Maro's son. Now, don't jump on conclusion with that. Sir Vinipter did serve as a decoy to trap this member of the Dark Brotherhood and indeed was a part of the Emperor Assassination's abandonment. But Commander Maro didn't have any intentions to respect the deal. The Dark Brotherhood leader was a fool to think so. He managed to gather crucial information from her to prevent the Emperor to be poisoned, to nearly got the fake gourmet, to destroy the sanctuary and, as this one guest, to ask a very competent alchemist to help Sir Vinipter recover from this. Commander Maro didn't have any intention to let this one die due to his plans. In other words, both Sir Vinipter and the Emperor were saved by Commander Maro. It might be hard to assimilate all of this. This is a lot, because you understand that perfectly. But do not worry. We are going to focus on this one recovery, first and foremost. Kushendra is going to analyze the potage to know what kind of poison was used. The report mentioned Yana, the chef cook, telling she saw the gourmet put a strange ingredient shaped like a dried root. Let's find it.
Cheese. Let's put it right here on this plate. this very root. Let's see. is how it could have passed for a drama root. Maro didn't have any hints about where the Dark Brotherhood sanctuary was. 
the leader being so creative about that but a strange thing reached to the ears of the Penitus Onculatus a, a package at Windham Docks apparently coming from Solstein which is not rare because a lot of dark elves live in Windhelm this package was later on sent the hold of Forkrith which is far away and no known shops or person declared to need products or material coming from such time this package was declared at the border to contain trauma roots which are natives to Morrowind and Solstein. They are not poisonous at all and are rather plain but can be used to try some recipes. Instead of intercepting the package, it was decided to follow it to its destination. After being passed by Kajit caravans, it ultimately led to the Dark Brotherhood sanctuary, lost and hidden in the Falkreath forest. This very route, as many Nords don't know how real trauma routes look like or even what it is, was able to cross the border and travel to Falkreath without problems. But Kajit can assure this is no drama route. They are not naughty like that, but rather straight and tapered. It's no canis route either. That for sure. Let's rinse it.
there is a deep orange coloring on the root bark, but maybe it's due to the cooking. Let's cut a piece out of it to better see the structure. Interesting. There is a lot of liquid in there. It seems it's absorbed quite the amount of potage. Alright. Let's take a closer look. has a squishy texture inside. A lot of hollows. It's a really porous root of a hole. That means it's from a desertic place. Either elsewhere or Hamafer. Hmm. Orange poisonous roots in elsewhere or Hamafer. Hmm. Judging from the thickness of the root, it's from a bush or a smaller shrub. Okay. Let's go deeper. Let's take samples and emerge them in different solutions. Gadget is going to open the windows. We need as much air as possible and as much sun as we can.
Let's take that. solution is turning purple purple it shouldn't is obtained only when a snake, frostbite, spider or scorpion's venom are degraded and, and that their sulfuric components broke apart. That's not for plants unless wait a minute Unless, if it's jarring, of course, it's a jarring root. But why using the root? Was it to provoke a delayed death? Mm, that doesn't coincide with the gourmet dashing to escape then. doesn't even explain how Sir Vinipter fell off his chair so quickly and being paralyzed for a moment. Okay.
sir, been you there? Kajit has found what poison was used and it's a root from a toxic plant which grows in Stros Makai in Hammerfest called Jarin. Gujendra knows what to do with this one then, but it's possible that it's not all. Firstly, this one is very, very, very lucky. The normal usages of Jari to kill are ever with thieves, dust, or extract. These three methods can kill in almost three hours, and it's an instant death with the extract if done correctly, which is injected in the body. That's the first time Kushendra actually sees a jarin root. She has never used this part of the plant before. Uh, she's here as a healer, remember? This one healer. Right. Okay. Um, the root has much less effects and even less when heated, which was the case here with the potage. Yet, it's still potent, and due to Sir Vinipter age, it can threaten his life if left unchecked. Kojendra wonder if the Dark Brotherhood is maybe not used to work with such exotic poison, but it clearly is the work of an amateur, at least alchemically speaking. However, nothing about Jarin can cause paralysis, like this one experienced right away after eating, falling from his chair and looking dead. So, what Kajit is about to do is to threat this one and then going to report the decision as well as the observations to Commander Maro and going to speak with Kiana probably. Now, Kajit has read about the numerous symptoms Sir Viniter has experienced since yesterday. No need to double check right now. She already knows about the feeling of thirst, the, the nausea, the irritated throat and mouth, the paleness. The loss of pigmentation of the gums and nails, um, the fast heartbeat too and bending, um, the yellowish tone in the white of the eyes, blood loss, as well as its abnormal orange-red coloration, and the little bump on the head after falling on the ground, so the more important thing to do right now is to hydrate this one. Severe dehydration is a serious problem, but we will not give plain water, but we will add some spriggan charcoal in it. It will help to clean the stomach as well as to fight against the current acidity 
the increase of the bile. Let's ground a little bit of charcoal. Adding that in water Here we go just the pillow right here Very well. Open the mouth, please. And drink. Perfect. Well, she will calm down after that. Now, as Kaji told this one earlier, she has seen the blood simple. And they were orange red, not deep crimson, like it should be. That added to the yellow eyes, the 
paleness and painting as well as the fast heartbeat indicate that the blood became what we say poor or thin like diluted it means that the jarring toxin destroyed some components in the blood and makes it weak in addition this one did lost some blood the best way to deal with that is to encourage the body to renew the blood for that we'll need this which resembles a candy this is a medication enchanted with alteration magic it may look like solid, but when the enchantment triggers, it becomes liquid again inside the mouth. And this sounds and feels very funny under the tongue. Two of them will do for now. Open the mouth.
see? Funny, isn't it? Well, now Gojendra is going to take the papers, including those about what we talked earlier. speak with Commander Maro. Another healer is waiting outside right now. She will watch over Seer Vinitor. Remember, this one will never be left unchecked now. Well, Commander Maru, Sir Venipter has good chances of recovery. It may take two or three weeks to fully heal, as he is quite old, but for the moment he is stable and well. There was a jarring root in the potage, definitely the thing that poisoned him. And at the commander's guest, this can pass as a trauma root. Another important thing he chose to know about on this one's plans and strategy with the Dark Brotherhood. Here are the papers with his signature. However, Gendra is going to need the commander's help. See, there is no way the jar in a root could have caused the decoy to feel immediate effects and to be momentarily paralyzed. There was another thing in the potage. It was way too thick, and it wasn't due to cold fats or anything like that, nor any of the ingredients which were declared. But Kajit knows what it is. There is but one ingredient which can paralyze in one bite which doesn't even need to be refined and that can cause a liquid to thicken like that and that is Nech jelly Kashin knows that might be nearly off limit to ask but she wants to interrogate Chef Cook Kiana. She is in prison right 
now, isn't it? Oh, come on. Of course, Karit would know that. Even with Kajindra's actual restriction, it would cause no problem if a certain commander was here to keep an eye on her. And this one knows Kajindra efficiency with these matters and it would be hard for the Penitus Oculatus to ask this to the town interrogator as the Emperor wasn't poisoned in the official public version even the Jarl, Leila Lawgiver, thinks the dinner went smoothly and that the Emperor is simply about to leave Skyrim by ship. Nobody knows about the decoy. <coughs> this one say? Hmm. That's a wise choice, Commander. Now, like the old days, let's go speaking to the not-so-innocent one. 